Folks, we are stacked to the McGillicuddy's. Look at this. All right, coming up to my favorite compactor, Johnny. Actually, it looks like quite a few things have already disappeared. Uh, we stopped by this yesterday, but a lot of people were throwing away trash, and here comes somebody here. I'm gonna have to double back around for mine. I'm gonna come back around. Some of the nice pieces have already been taken, but there is a couple solid pieces I wouldn't mind checking out again. There was a car riding my tail pretty good, so we'll come back. This is what I wanted to show you here. There's a big, beautiful wooden piece, this wooden hutch. I'm just gonna stay in here for just a second and show you guys before someone does come. Uh, beautiful piece here, wash machine here. We do have laundry hamper back over there. But yesterday there was a baby crib, chairs, probably either got cleaned up or there, see there's a better shot there. That's solid wood, good quality. You could upscale it, put some gold handles on it, router the edges a little bit. You can get creative with it. You know, no harm, no foul. Look at that hair, baby. Look at that hair. It's been a whirlwind of a day, I'll tell you what. Out there playing discs. Didn't do too well today, but you know what, though? It was a beautiful day. All righty. Bria is making herself comfortable in the moving blankets. Oh, baby, yes, the baby, I love you. Let's take a look at the action. Okay, stools are amazing. Uh, high, I'm talking super high end, right? So first and foremost, let's look at the little carry-on suitcase. I thought everything was perfect. Unfortunately, the handle has a little crack right there. Still works 100%. Handle still works. All you need is some Gorilla Glue and press that in. And that is now your 360 carry-on spinner hard shell case. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Let's start with this right here. Well, it's the same thing. Well, might as well just start with this one. This one, unfortunately, has a split in the wood. Easily fixable. I'm going to probably unscrew on the bottom, remove that, wood glue it, put it back. Done and done. Simple fix. These are absolutely stunning. Okay, they have that kind of that modern look like some stools do have, but this is super heavy. This is like full on iron that I'm holding right here. This is not, not aluminum, this is not makeshift. This is super high end. This is like actual thick wood, thick wood. Let's go ahead and look at the back. Look at the detailed work on these things. Look at the stain job. It's absolutely, I mean, this is literally wrought iron. So, so cool. So I did see something I don't wanna scratch. The uh, coffee table I got under there, but let's go ahead, prop that up just for a sec. And let's look at the bottom here. Let's put some light on it. I thought I saw something here. What is that, 46, something rather 100. Yeah, the other one has kind of a marking on that as well. Uh, I'm not, probably the manufacturer number or something like that. I don't see any other markings. So my guess is these are super custom. And my guess is the only reason they got rid of it is because of a split and they don't know how to fix it and they're like i don't want that let's just get rid of them we'll get some other ones very simple fix guys wood glue and squeezing it together with a wood vise which i have both wood glue and a wood vise thank you lord that is going to be absolutely stunning somewhere in the house absolutely love it rustic farmhouse modern vibe to it love it this i'm going to clean up put some shelves in it. We're gonna do some cool stuff. It's actually an entertainment center. I used to have the same one. This is a different color. And I'm actually gonna turn this in. I actually have a small one. If you guys remember a long time ago, we found this. It's been in storage. And I'm gonna do some Ikea hacks for my open closet concept with some stellar modern feet on there. The gray on white is gonna match my new flooring. It's gonna be pretty cool. Miss Berea has decided that she wants to curl up like a little baby. She's taken over the couch, even with my uh, makeshift. Uh, well, this definitely helps out. This, my makeshift sheet, eh, keeps it clean until I bring it out of storage. Let's look at the shop real quickly before we skedaddle. The shop, once again, the shop, this shop is 2,400 square feet and it's filled uh, <laughs> with uh, pretty, let's see, I'm going 90% dumpster diving finds. 
absolutely crazy. California was good to me, folks, but don't don't fret, don't worry. Colorado is going to take over California for amazing dumpster diving. Actually, I take that back more like 82, 85%. I'm looking around, things were given to me. I got my new stove, my new kitchen cabinets. Some of these things were already purchased, of course, the couch as well. Bandsaw was given to me by my dad. Um, but a lot of it, pretty much all of it, 82 to 85% was all dumpster diving finds. Absolutely stunning. With that said, thank you, Lord, for the blessings because I'm not that great of a dumpster diver. I'm just super blessed by the Lord to find it and grab it. Got a nice box spring up top right here in the uh, roll away. Looks like a piece of wood. Might be an older nightstand up there as well. Um, hmm. I might peek my head over. Folks, we are stacked to the McGillicuddy's. Look at this. Oh, yes. Couch. Wow. Table. Goodness gracious. We're definitely going to sit right here for a second and look on in there. Well, folks, well, folks, well, folks, what a haul, man. Those cans have been seriously good over the years. This uh, apartment complex I'm in right now actually was the apartment complex that my sister-in-law lived before she got married to my brother. So they introduced me to this apartment complex. It's really close to the church where I go to now that she went, so did my brother. And we got the fake plant. We grabbed a beautiful area carpet rug. It's kind of like a woven one. Might be for outside, might be for inside. Absolutely stunning. There was a television that was like knocked over. Probably was broken, a Vizio 32 inch. Had the legs on it. Probably a smart TV. It looked like it was actually out there even after the major snowstorm. It's melted the last several days. I was able to grab an entire sack of clothes, sheets, uh, a blanket that I'll use for my punching bag. There was actually some really nice women's clothes. A Puma hoodie, I'll wash that up, see if I can give that away. I'd rather expensive, nice things like that give those away rather than using those to rip up and put for a punching bag. I'm trying to think what else I got. There was a ton of other stuff as well. As we saw in the Snapchats, I was thinking about the big ottoman. There were dog beds. I was gonna take the really large one, but it smelled pretty bad. 
and I had to use a ton of hand sanitizer because I touched it. Kind of smelled like dog pee or something like that. So I was like, oh boy. So anyway, hand sanitizer did the trick until I can get to a nice facility to wash my hands. Definitely carry hand sanitizer. Gloves would have been a lot better. Outside of the cans, there was a nice couch. I do need the back cushions, but I just left it intact because it's a perfectly good couch. Vintage wood piece, round table box springs mattresses i mean that's a full apartment gut for sure also i'm not sure if the snapchats picked it up or not but there, there was a price tag on that fake plant of 79.99 i was like what in the world you gotta be crazy 79.99 for a fake plant all right let's go ahead and see what we got here okay looks like a nice leather couch somebody's just leaving the area right there they were actually throwing trash away and closing the cans so we'll go ahead and just beeline out of here there was a leather couch sectional that's about it looked like it was taken apart remember i still need couch backs for my outdoor custom couch build i'm gonna do for summertime don't let the party stop guys hit one of these videos continue to watch and we'll see you soon